What's up guys, welcome back to our Peg Electronics and today is the day that Guns for IR DIY modded, pre-modded version is available for sale. So these are actually uh, the probably the most accurate light guns on the market right now, but no one has produced plug and play models. So with permission from JB, the creator of this system, I have started making these for commercial sale. All right, they're made with an authentic uh, PlayStation 1 Namco G-Con 45 from Japan, all right? This, is, this was not available in the US actually. So these are actually really, really nice, all right? They have two, two buttons, one, two on the front, plus a left click for the trigger, all right? And they have an infrared sensor built in. And the cool part about this is it stays accurate no matter what. We're gonna be including two special fisheye lens adapters. Actually, one is a fisheye, one is a wide angle. And what this does is it zooms out of the screen so that the camera can see all four LED points from a closer distance. Pretty much just the way your phone works, it zooms right out, okay? So you can put use this on arcade cabinets much closer than, than before, all right, than on any other gun that I can find, okay? So the way this one works is you don't have a border, you don't have a, a LED, like a bar in, on top like the Wii. You actually have these four LED modules that you're gonna get in your kit. Okay, now I am not a factory. We we haven't we're not produce mass producing these. I am literally painstakingly making these by hand. Okay, so they're they are a row of uh, IR emitters, a little heat sink on the back. As you can see, I'm I'm literally gluing and doing everything myself. We will be having a nice uh, production version when factories are back to full productivity after you know all the COVID thing goes away and the gun for iron will be compatible with anything. You can make your own basically, but a lot of people were asking me, hey, can you make me a set of these? Because it's just such a pain in the butt to hand solder 12 LEDs uh, you know, to a circuit board and do all the resistor calculation. So that's all it is. You have to attach one of these LEDs in the middle of your screen. So one, two, three, and four, okay? Making a plus basically, all right? And on the other end, Okay, it is a very, very simple USB plug. This is just power, there's no data to it or anything. As you can see, I'm literally, you know, making these by hand because there, there is no solution, good solution for plugging in four wires to one USB yet that I've thought of. It's coming, JB is working on it, but for now, this is the solution that we have and it works beautifully. And the best part is these LEDs, you can f flex upward, okay? to make it straight so that if you have a TV that has a curved or thick back, you can just stick it around the bottom. As long as the LEDs point to you, it's okay, all right? But for me, I have an LG OLED, which has a super thin, super thin flat back. So I like to stick it like this. I'm just gonna just stick it right here and it's gonna be almost invisible, all right? We're gonna include some uh, sticky gel tape on the circuit board here, or you can use Velcro or pretty much anything. This is pretty much just peel and stick solution, all right? The gel tape that we use is gonna be very strong, okay? So I am gonna switch over now to the TV where I've already set this up, and I'm gonna show you how the, uh, the GUI looks, the software that allows you to ca uh, calibrate everything. Okay, I am gonna zoom in, okay, the best I can, because I'm literally doing this from a simple phone. Okay, so now this is uh, pretty much what you're gonna get, and uh, you're gonna see the the graphical user interface right on top. And when you click on detect guns, it will detect your your guns for IR that's plugged in via USB. All right, mine is obviously already plugged in. So I'm gonna go to test screen and you can see, all right, I'm gonna try to show you this, how lined up it is with the site. Okay. It just stays perfectly calibrated no matter what. Look at that. I'm literally dead on center with my line of sight. All right. Now I can actually calibrate this too. I'm gonna to show you how the calibration works. We're gonna to go to start calibration here because if you have to stick your LEDs on the sides, but if your sticking is not perfect, don't worry about it. It's not, a, it's not the end of the world. All right, and it's gonna ask you to calibrate right here. Just shoot the center. And uh, make sure that you you can see all your LED points here. Otherwise, um, you, you'll see on top, if your LED points are not shown, then your sensitivity might not be high enough. So in this case, I am using the fisheye lens 
and my sensitivity is uh, not high enough. I have it at three. So I'm gonna change it out. I'm gonna exit Mad Bullets here. I was gonna demo this for you guys after I uh, finish calibrating, but I just want to show you guys how calibration works first. All right, so I'm gonna change my default sensitivity to higher since I have a bigger screen here. All right, there we go. Now I can see all my LEDs properly. Okay, just point to all one, two, three, four, five points, all right? Now, depending on your setup and your house and your lighting, you may want to change the sensitivity to higher or lower. As you can see, I'm using a really bright, uh, high definition screen plus a LED background that I designed. So that normally this would kill an aim track, all right? I, I can't even use aim track on this TV because of how bright my LED lights are and they're, they're color changing too, which really doesn't help. But now with this, no problem. All right, so I'm done with my calibration and that's it. I can turn off my I can turn off my uh, app now. Okay, and then I just want to show you guys really super duper quick how easy it is to play with this now. That's it. It was just plug and play. It's just it's just a regular mouse. The left click button works as my reload. Okay, you can even hook this up to my pe my uh, pedal, which is also available, just by using uh, an auto hotkey to for the pedal to simulate the left click. I mean the right click. Sorry, that's it. It's it's just so accurate. It's the best system you could have, and I just wanted to make it available for everybody. They, it's going to be on sale on my website at rpegelectronics.com, or you can contact me directly. My phone number is always going to be in the description below. Okay, I'm happy to answer any questions and we can make a custom, uh, we can make custom sized wire, wiring for any screen that you may have, all right? I'm I wanna say thank you to JB, all the way in Japan, who designed the system, all right, he's amazing. Uh, thank you to everyone on the Discord channel, Gustavo, Charles, DZ, and uh, OMG, who, who uh, does all the um, light gun game demos, uh, who else? Oh, and uh, Bujak Sacha for the one for showing me this in the first place, and always raising the bar when it comes to light gun games. All right, thanks very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and keep an eye on the website and the channel. There's going to be a lot more uh, production with this product. Okay, it's going to come with. Don't forget, it's going to come with the gun, your fisheye lens, uh, extra adapter. This is a macro lens for uh, for even closer up, and the four LEDs that are around the screen. Okay, that's it. It's going to be and we ship from New York City. So it will be shipped to you the day you order it. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers, bye-bye.